Hey, here we are with lab 23. Total confession time. This really isn't that important to do, but it's fun. So we're gonna do it. So what I would do if I were you um, is you might need to pause this to go get materials. Um, and in the middle, I'll stop this, okay? And let you decide whether you're gonna do it yourself or just watch me do it. Which, boring, okay? So, when we studied plate tectonics, we learned about the asthenosphere and the, you know, the upper mantle, and it acts both like a solid and a liquid, okay? Now, the P and S waves both travel through that layer, which means it's a solid because S waves can only travel through solids. And yet, the plates move on it because of convection currents, which are, you know, when something's heated, it becomes less dense, it rises up and it starts that whole circular motion. So that only happens in fluids. And by fluids, I mean um, either a liquid or a gas, okay? So some might wonder, how, how is this so? How is this so, Mr. May? And today we're going to look at a material that acts both like a solid and a liquid. Um, some of you have made this before, but um, we'll look at it a, maybe a little differently than you did before. Okay, so this is called a non-Newtonian fluid, okay? And Sir Isaac Newton wrote some rules about fluids, liquids and gases, and how they behave, and these don't follow all those rules, so it's called non-Newtonian fluids. Um, in elementary school, they make it and they incorrectly call this oobleck because of the story Bartholomew and the oobleck. If you're not familiar with it, please get a copy um, and read it. So this is Dr. Seuss and, and they incorrectly called it oobleck because this doesn't act like oobleck at all. Okay, so it's just a cool word that they found and something kind of goopy. All right, so what we have is cornstarch and I have just a cup full of cornstarch. I don't have exact measurements because I don't work that way. So um, cornstarch, if you don't have it in the kitchen, um, it is a thickener, so some people probably use it for making gravies and stuff. Um, you can get it at a store, something like Tops or Dollar General, and maybe uh, at those it's like, last time I looked, I, I paid $1.79. Uh, I have bought it since and not looked. It's probably around two bucks a box for a pound. And this is way less than a pound. Um, they may even have it at the Dollar Tree. And the price at the Dollar Tree is probably somewhere around a dollar, okay? Plus tax. So wait, it's food, it might not have tax. So it might be just a dollar. Okay, so here we have the cornstarch anyways. And I have some water. Now this is Warsaw water, so it's not looking so good. Actually, I added a little food coloring because white uh, non-Newtonian fluids are, are more boring than purple non-Newtonian fluids, okay? So I put some food coloring in there and I got about a liter of water here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about three quarters of that in. Okay, so I put about three quarters in. I'll move that back so hopefully you can see it a little bit. Dark, and then I'm going to stir and I'm going to use a fork. Forks work just marvelously. And I'm going to pull it away from the sides. That's how you get it to mix, okay? And right now it's like almost dried cement. It's not, it's big chunks in there. So I already know I'm gonna add more water, but I'm gonna get it as mixed as I can. I could still see big globs of white in there, so I know it's not enough. Uh, put a bit more water in, not not tons. I'm gonna go slow from here so I don't overhydrate. And I'm gonna pull from the sides. Ooh, almost made a mess. Oh, by the way, don't do this over mom's furniture or carpets, okay? Kitchen counters, good idea. Right next to sink, good idea. Okay, over her best sweater, not a good idea. All right, so I'm gonna keep mixing. And right in the middle, I'm gonna notice that this is still a little chunky. Okay, so I probably just need a little splash more water and we're good to go. Okay, this is really a science, okay? Too thick. Okay, 
Okay, once again, riveting, riveting video, me here. Okay, I'm gonna get it all sorts of mixed. And now it's a little runnier, okay? All right, and keep pulling away from the sides and turning it. You can't be wimpy and just tap at it, okay? You really gotta get moving, and the faster you can go, the better it mixes, actually. All right, so now here's what we do. If you aren't gonna go to the store and you don't have this stuff, you're gonna watch me, which is kind of boring, okay? And then uh, do the questions and all that stuff. If you're gonna mix it, why don't you pause it and go get the stuff and mix it. And I wouldn't even come back to this video. I would um, just do the procedure um, from the website, getting the procedure for this lab. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to do in case you're not gonna do it. All right, so I'll do the quick. Ow, my scapula. I am back and I have the lab sheet here on paper. You should look at it on your Chromebook. Okay, so the first procedure says slowly push your finger or silverware. It don't it don't even bother doing this if you're just gonna stick the fork in there. You need to get dirty, okay? So slowly push your finger in. I, I want this to take a couple seconds to go to the bottom. Really slow, I'm not there yet. Okay, and then pull it out really slow. Okay, and you're gonna record whether that's a solid or a liquid. Okay, it was very liquidy. I will tell you that for those who are not going to do it. All right, now quickly jam your finger or the sil not the silverware or the silverware and record whether it's solid or liquid. Okay, so I'm gonna go <clears throat> and when I hit that, I wish you could see this a little better, maybe you can. <clears throat> you can hear it kinda. Okay, it's not going in when I do that. Okay. Now we're gonna pick up the silverware again. Fork, fork or spork or spoon or knife even. Not a sharp knife, not a steak knife, okay? And you're gonna to try to pull it away from the sides like when we were mixing, but this time you're gonna look at it and you will notice when you pull it away from the sides, it comes off clean. And I don't know if you can see that, but it comes off clean. too helpful okay so okay it comes off clean doing that all right now you're going to pour some on the desk or a counter kitchen counter I would assume let me get back where you can see it and just do like a pancake size a normal pancake not the super pancake not the dollar size or you know silver dollar size, but a pancake size on your table here, okay? Now, uh, poke the surface rapidly. You can see me doing this. Okay, that kind of acts like a solid. Okay, since it's solid, I am going to pick it up. Ew, that doesn't work. Okay, all right, let's see. Okay, ready for this part? You gotta be fast, all right? We're gonna pick it up. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Go back and forth, get it loosened on the desk here, right? Go really fast back and forth, scoop it up in your hand really quick, and roll it. So you can see it's a nice ball right there. Can you see that? I'll get it right up there. You can see it. And then I'm going to stop rolling it. Ready? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I have some green here too, so you can see that. Yeah. Oh yeah, isn't that lovely? Okay, so now, wow, psychedelic, dude. All right, we have... That's the first seven procedures. Number eight is to play with it. It will get dry, okay? And you can just top a tiny bit of water back to it. It'll keep going. 
Eventually it's gonna dry out. This isn't like long lasting slime or anything. But have fun playing with it. You know, you might wanna do some crazy stuff with it. Make a mess, all sorts of good stuff. It's fun, okay? And you'll have to say whether it acts solid as a lick or a liquid, and I think you'll find it does a bit of both, okay? And oh, hang on just a second. <laughs> Sorry, maybe it's COVID, I don't know, I'll get tested. All right, have fun, do it. Just don't be a stick on the mud and not do it, okay.